back to kill this video <laughs> for the second time. There's a couple things we're gonna do different this time. We got more light, so really be able to see best angles for certain things. It's kind of like all monotone here in terms of the lighting. Everything was kind of just like soft. So we got like some harsh lights coming through the ceiling, uh, which is gonna be great. We're about to set up for this first take right now using a Nikon Z9. And uh, once I choose the lens, I'll make sure to tell y'all what that's gonna be. But about to kill it, let's do it. So this is the Nikon. <laughs> Hold on, what is this? What is this? This is the 14 to 24 f 2.8 so this is like an ultra wide lens we're using this uh, for our first setup which is going to be the revolving spin i'll tell you a little bit more about it when we get into the shot first performance setup right now. I'm using the Edelchrome Pan Pro. This head allows me to spin the camera full 360 at the exact same tempo every single time. I'm gonna run through a couple different performances on this Edelchrome Pan head on the Nikon Z9 with the 14 to 24 millimeter f 2.8 lens. And uh, in post, I'll be able to mass these together, be able to cool effect. The only problem, or I guess the only difficulty with this is that I have to start the song and the spin at the exact same time in the song. So we'll see if this works. Since last time it didn't work, I don't know why, but hopefully we got some better luck this time. So for this next setup, it's a, like a smooth intro. So I want to get a cool like duplication shot of him throughout the intro, different spots in the frame of him performing. And then post, we'll mask these together. I'm filming this on uh, the 35 millimeter F1.8. And uh, we're shooting this at an F1.8, 800 ISO. And uh, yeah, and post will add some movement to it, add some different effect, maybe add some grain to it. But uh, yeah, that's the essence of the shot. Very simple one, but it should be effective in the edit. shooting on the RS3 Pro today. I actually just got this in the mail. I don't know nothing about it. I just set it up. I got the extension arm and uh, we're using the 35 again. I'm gonna roll through and get some dope performance shots of him. Sun's creeping through perfect through this uh, this like skylight in the building. And uh, I'm using the autofocus too. So we'll see how good this is, if it's good or bad. But um, I'll make sure to get a safe take of using manual focus just so I'm, I know I'm good when it comes to post. We setting up for this next performance right now. Um, we got this really dope corner, broken windows, giving us some nice light in. And uh, I think we just gonna film some Ronin stuff, honestly. Maybe super wide, 14 millimeters. And then I think I might also get a handheld shot, 50 millimeter as the close up for it. But uh, we'll see, we'll see.
That's gonna conclude this behind the scenes look of me testing out the Nikon Z9 for this running gun music video. This isn't anything over the top, just us utilizing a cool location and some on-scene natural lighting. If you guys wanna check out the music video, the link will be down in the description so you can check out the quality of the Z9. I enjoyed using it though. The footage was amazing to work with, the ProRes RAW, being able to adjust the ISO and post. It was really convenient. I actually like this camera a lot. If you want any Nikon Z9 content, man, do me a favor, head down to the comment section to let me know. If you're new to this channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it. But I'm out, y'all. Peace.